Hello Geminis, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of April. Okay, so the first card I have was this one. Uh, well, actually, Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Seven of uh, Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ten of Wands, the King of Swords, the Four of Wands. Very good card. The Five of Pen, uh, Five of Cups. Excuse me. Okay, Five of Cups. I'm going to pull out. Yeah. Usually, it also always indicates like heartache and regret. Okay, so let's go through the cards here. Okay, so um, what I do sense for this month is one of the big overarching theme is that um, you're going to have to change your approach when it comes to um, relating to another person, okay? I have the Ace of Swords here. And um, I feel in general, in the past, you have been really quick about jumping to conclusions, okay? Um, you mean you mean well because the Knight of Wands, in general, is a well-meaning type of person. But I do sense that um, you have jumped the gun a little bit. You have assessed this situation from a very biased perspective. And what I do sense with the Ace of Swords is this is a new gift of intellect, and with intellect comes the ability to like look at the big picture rather than just uh, one small portion of what you believe and what you feel to be right and what you want to solely focus on. It's um seeing, having the breadth and the depth of vision in order to assess a situation entire in its entirety and to draw conclusions from a well-informed source. Okay, so I hope this helps. It, it is coming in very strongly and it is going to help you greatly in navigating a lot of the challenges that are coming, especially for this month of April. I do feel you have a lot of positive things as well, but um, the things you're dwelling on might be the wrong things altogether and the things that are no longer conducive to your own growth. Okay. So in the process of implementing this new uh, style and approach and like more objectivity in your relationship, you're going to have like um, a lot more responsibilities imposed on you. But at the same time, you're going to really narrow your choices down into what and who is important in your life so that you don't scatter yourself too thin. OK, I feel like a lot of Gemini's have had to deal with this in the past, too, where <clears throat> they have too many obligations and then they um, they like flit from one thing to the, the next without really, you know, taking satisfaction in a job well done in any single project or relationship or endeavor, okay? So really focus and hone down uh, and like uh, zero in on what it is that is important to you that you want to manifest and that you want to um, proceed with and narrow your choices so that you're not uh, burdened by, you know, mid-month, okay? So really keep that in mind, um, Gemini. And at the same time, I do feel that this is you here. So um, I would say once again, you have a tremendously sharp intellect and a very sharp mind. And you are supposed to be a very good judge of character as well. But um, your inability to focus for too long makes it so that um, you seek novelty rather than things of quality. Okay, so please be careful about that too, because um, you're only going to wear yourself out because novelty items rarely last their lifespan. Okay, you're going to get bored of them. They're going to get bored of you. And it is what it is. So seek quality in your interactions, in your environment, in the things that you buy, in all the relationships in your life. Okay, that's going to have a better, uh, longer sustaining power. Okay. Um. <clears throat> what I do sense is, you know, um, for those who are in partnered relationships, a lot of you might have recently separated because I do sense uh, regret here or this could come in, you know, towards the end of this month. I do feel that um, it is a, I don't feel like it's a, yeah, it, it's, it's a parting of the ways that is uh, regretful. But I don't feel that, um, and it is always hurtful, you know, no matter who we uh, break away from, it is always painful. But I do feel in this situation that um, it it has a satisfying resolution is what I'm sensing. 
you know, you're, you are hurt because it is a sword energy and you are a sword sign, um, an air sign, excuse me. So, um, I feel that you're going to hurt, be hurt more than the other party. Okay. For those of you who have dealt with like, um, a, a fire sign, I do sense that, um, this fire sign is very honest with you, very upfront, very honest with you. And um, you have to be, you know, be willing to accept the truth because it's going to help you heal a lot faster. For those of you who are dealing with a fellow air sign, I would say that um, this person might be a little too jarring, a little too cutting with their words, or they might not have been entirely honest with their actions and their words. So it's causing a big rift in the relationship. And that's why it's really difficult for you to heal from it because you want the truth and they're not forthcoming with it. Okay. The, um, Fire signs, on the other hand, are completely blunt, completely honest, and they're approaching this manner in a very mature way. So listen to what they have to say and, you know, move past it because I do feel that you're going to be okay. And at the same time, I do feel if more than anything, this, um, this pain in your heart is going to be a big obstacle for you. If you don't let it go fast enough, if you don't, you know, find like peace within yourself, it is going to be a, a big like block to the implementation of your projects and into the implementation or to the enjoyment of the rest of your life okay because regardless of what it is you do have a very uh, stable home environment and um, this indicates support like family support friendships as well a very stable environment in which you can retreat like a safe haven in to to which you can retreat and um, the people around you, they are very supportive, okay? They are very supportive of you, and they are they want to be there for you. But um, a lot of you, too, might be going through, like, a heartache still, and you're blocking everyone out, okay? So this person has good intentions, but you're also blocking, you're, you're like, shielding yourself from potential hurts or imagined slight, and you're not letting them in to help you and to give you the proper nurturance um, and the proper guidance in order to help you heal. Okay, so don't put yourself, uh, don't put a wall up because I, I feel that um, people are really trying and operating from a sincere place, and they're really trying to help. So let them in. Um, I would say, like, for those of you who have been, like, dealing with um, a fire sign, like a long dispute thing with a fire sign that has been dragged on, um, it is very important for you as well to be mindful of what you're saying, be mindful of how your words are very hurtful, and um, yet time and time again, this fire sign is coming in and is trying to appease you because they really care about you, okay? They love you. So it is important for you to know when enough is enough and to not cut people down with their words, especially when people are trying to help and especially when people have not done anything wrong because I don't feel this person has done anything wrong. So you, on the other hand, are in the reverse position. So I would really strongly advise you, like, don't isolate yourself. Don't cut off other people and don't... um um don't be hurtful. Okay, so this is what I'm sensing here. Um, all these fire signs, right? Um, these are people that belong in the same group, okay? So there is a younger fire sign, possibly younger or somebody around your age who is very mature and who is very like um, pure hearted, okay? They have the best intentions. They're coming in to help you and all these people are telling them like, no, don't do it. You're not going to get what you want. And they're they're warning this person about coming in to see you. And um, this person is just like, no, I love them. So, you know, I'm going to try my best to appease them and to make them come around to my point of view. And they're here like they can't do anything about it, but they want the interest, um, the best interest for this fire sign. And, you know, he or she is rushing in trying to help you and trying to offer their love and their affection. But you are so blocked off by your own sense of like um, personal responsibility, all the things that you have to do. And you can be very jarring with your words. So you're hurting this person tremendously, okay? And in the process, you're hurting yourself too because you are isolating yourself and you're making it very difficult for others to approach you. So for those of you who are dealing with that situation, okay, be very, very careful because I feel like this is a really good person that deserves better, okay? So treat them with a little more 
respect and uh, appreciation. Appreciation. It's important for you this month to realize, um, to like separate truth from myths. So separate realities from like illusions for this month is what I'm sensing. And uh, what it is, is like the energy are corroborating the same story. This is like a, a something regrettable that was done in the past that you're still suffering greatly from. But um, towards the end of this month, you're going to be able to in the past, you haven't been able to look at this objectively. So then you you made it a burden, you know, you, you made it an, an unnecessary burden. And you became like um, very stone cold, very guarded and very bitter and um, and hurtful too, hurtful for other to other people. Um, towards the end of this month, you're going to realize that, you know, whatever happened, it's okay, you're going to heal from it, and you have the support of the people you love, and those uh, who care about you, so you're going to be fine, and you're going to triumph, and you're going to get over it, so you're going to quickly realize that while it is hurtful, it is regrettable, but it is the natural progression of things, it is just how, like the ebb and flow of life, and it is okay, so you're going to come out on top, and you, well, not exactly on top, um, you're still going to um, feel like the, the 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 pain a little bit, but you're going to be able to move on and you know regain yourself. It's not going to happen at the end of this month, but I feel very strongly with the support and the love and the nurturing of all those around you, you're going to be fine. Okay, um, you have a lot to in your midst, especially, and um, <clears throat> for those who are single too, I do feel that um, if you're out dating again you know you really have to be um you have to be like you have to let your guard down okay and again don't stretch yourself too thin where you're like going after quantity rather than quality so um if you're dealing with a fire sign i feel that you are in good hands so um let this person in because they you know they they bounce around and they 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 come and go so you have a very small window of opportunity coming in the very beginning of this uh, month in order to land this person. So let your guard down a little bit, okay? And this person will be a, a very healing force in your life because he or she is extremely honest and kind and loving and generous as well. So they're going to help you um, tremendously. Um, on the financial front, though, I feel that a lot of you who are employed, you might not be entirely happy with the income stream. You might not ent be entirely happy with the work that you're doing. So there is a little bit of a reassessment, but I don't feel that um, you're not in poverty, you know. And I always um, assess the measure of financial financial stability based on, you know, the poverty card. That is like the, the standard from five of pentacles into until like uh, the ten of pentacles and you're at a seven so you know you're in a good place so i don't feel that you're fine um i don't feel that you're uh, going to be in poverty or in dire strait when it comes to your finances okay so things are looking good um if there are um yeah the only thing i would say on the financial and work front is that um you have the, um, what, what I would say, okay, so, yeah, established relationships at work, I don't mean like office romance or anything, but I feel that the people around you really want to help you, okay, especially supervisors, especially male supervisors, I feel that they really want to help you, and they feel that you have a lot of good ideas, okay, but, um, don't be, I guess, um, don't be arrogant about this, okay? Make sure that you approach them, even if you're very confident, even if they like have given you, um, you know, accolades based on the your progress and based on your work. I do feel that you have to approach this in a very humble manner, and even if you know, um, you know your strengths and you know that you're a great asset, be humble about this, okay? Because um, I do sense that that can be a major turnoff for them. So try to do that. I feel that a lot of you too might be undergoing like review, like um, um, performance reviews, and other people are like, okay, that... Per oh, so if you're going through that, be very careful. Um, be on top of your game and, you know, be very careful about... Yeah, I, I feel very strongly. It is performance review, mainly because of this. This is like um, ten of uh, pen, uh, 
ten of rods, excuse me, ten, ten of wands. It indicates a heavy workload, okay? So you're under the pressure of um, performance review, and you're just like, okay, I have this great idea. I'm going to bring, you know, like, take on double and triple my workload. That way I look good. You know, if you have that in mind, I would advise you against it, mainly because you're going to wear yourself out. Nothing is going to get done, and you're going to be exposed, okay? So that is not a good strategy to take. Mainly because um, hard work is measured con in consistency, okay? So it's not going to work this time if you just um, do a lot of work this month. It's a measure of all the work that you've contributed. It's an average of all the work you've contributed and that you've done for this company. So um, having like a one one busy month is not going to make it for you. So be careful about that and don't wear yourself out. So work smart about this. Um, the... Um, the assessment situation, you know, the, um, what is that? Performance review might be a little problematic, but I do sense that, um, nothing is set in stone just yet. And you do have, it's coming up like, um, possibly the end of fir the first week of April. If this is coming up in your inv work environment, please try to get work done as soon as possible. Be consistent because I do feel that, um, consistency is goes a, a lot further than you know with the supervisors in charge than anything um let me see okay so um yeah for those of you who are in stable stable relationship i do feel that um the home life the home situation itself is very fulfilling for you okay um yeah, there are a lot of fire energy, so I'm trying to see how this can be read. I do sense that um, there might be repairs. There might be like uh, a lot of responsibilities coming up regarding this housing situation, which um, which would overwhelm you quite a bit. Okay, so if there are repairs, don't leave it to the last minute. And at the same time, I feel that um. The how the the family unit for those of you who are married or are in a situation where you're living with love partners, or even living with parents at home and taking care of the family, I do feel that you're going to get a lot of help. Like I said, the people around you are very receptive and they they really want to help you. Um, but you have to take the initiative, okay? And I feel that the very beginning of this month someone takes the initiative to approach you you cut them down and then towards the end they're taking a step back and they're waiting for you to come to them so if and i feel that things are going to pick up speed drastically you're going to be very busy and you're you need a, you need some help okay and it's okay to ask for help but um you, it's harder this time because you're going to have to approach them so be very careful about uh, words and truths and um, how you communicate with others this month because I do feel that um, it can affect your relationships in the long run and especially it can affect, it can drive away wonderful loving people in your life if you're not too careful. So be on guard about that. Learn to hold your tongue a little bit. Um, I know that you want to get at the truth and you have like a very curt and a very uh, concise way of dealing with situations. But um, in situations where a little more, um, I guess, a little more like sensitivity and um, softness is required, you don't do very well in those two situations. And in those two instances, it is very important that you... Uh, hold your tongue a little bit and don't lash out at people who have done nothing wrong, okay? Out of um, the sense of anger that you feel for somebody else, you might lash out at the wrong people. You might lash out at people who really want to be a part of your life and who wants to help you through this, okay? So it is not going to be a... Um, it's not going to be a, an easy month because with the Three of Swords, things are... Fair, um, rarely, things are rarely smooth with the Three of Swords, and it's going to trigger a lot of old hurts and uh, repressed anger. So, um, I would just advise you, you know, um, let down your wall, let people come to you and approach you, and let um, 
let down your pride more than anything. Let down your pride, okay? Because um, others can't come in because you've resurrected this wall that blocks you off and that shields you from all the pain and you've had it resurrected so um, far in the into the past that um, it's kind of like a, a, a part of your lifestyle, a part of your wardrobe almost. And you don't know what it is what it feels like to like not have it up because um it leaves you defenseless which i understand okay but um what i do sense is this we do have these two one energies this is um a big burden but it could also be like um putting up your walls so that you don't get hurt and uh, shielding yourself from having to face like the harsh realities of life so in, in in essence, you're not really enjoying your life, nor are you living it healthily. Yeah. And in this situation, what would be very beneficial for you is to unload some of your burden. You can still have some wallet that uh, came to be so that you can leave old habits behind and that you can like be honest about um, how you can move forward from this. Okay. So, um... Thank you so much for watching. I will come back next week with your weekly tarot reading. I wish you the best and don't be afraid of this month. I feel that it has tremendous transformative powers, okay? And it's going to be it's going to be a little rough, but I feel you'll be okay. You're a very strong sign, okay? So, um good luck with everything. Thanks.